Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. In a previous video, we made a square mylar parabolic mirror with an adjustable focal length using a vacuum. The link to that video is here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a similar mirror using 2x4s in a shape that is closer to a circle. While this mirror can also be adjusted with a vacuum valve, the back side of this version is flexible. So by simply pulling a tape handle, the focal length of the mirror can quickly be adjusted to different targets. This is another low cost option to professional parabolic mirrors that work great for cooking and heating applications. The outer diameter of this design is 45 inches and consists of 12 2x4s. The wood is cut at a 15 degree angle. By flipping the wood, the next cut can be made. My stop guide is set at 12 inches. The wood I am using was scrap boards that sat in my yard for about a year. Using a high quality glue and two and a half inch screws, the assembly process takes about 15 minutes. If you did everything, the final closing point should be a good match. Once connected, you will need to sand the wooden frame to a smooth finish. There should be no sharp edges. Once the glue has set, apply tape to the inner seams and wrap a few layers around the outside. This will provide a solid seal that works better than silicone. I am also tape laminating the wood to provide a smooth surface when the mylar and plastic backing are stretched into place. One trick to help the tape stick really good is to apply a piece into place, then remove it. This cleans the surface of the wood and leaves behind a mild, sticky residue. Then you place a new piece of tape and rub it down into place. For the back side of this build, I'm using a thick plastic drop cloth and stretching it into place. Once all the sides have been sealed, an additional layer of tape is added to the plastic. This will seal any holes that may be on the plastic and also provide added thickness. The front side of the mirror is a large reflective mylar blanket with the first surface side facing inward. If you watched the previous video, I show you some easy ways to determine which side is the first surface side and instructions to the stretching process. Once completed, a small tape valve is placed in the back, allowing for the optional vacuum application. Also, using tape, a handle is placed as close to center as possible on the back. When this handle is pulled, the displacement of air inside the sealed chamber causes the front mylar to become an adjustable focal lens. This makes a very interesting solar heat ray with an effective range of about 60 feet. Here's a list of videos that provide great information regarding why there is a limit to the focal length based on the size of a mirror, why parabolic mirrors are not a danger to air traffic, and why flat mirrors are used to signal aircraft a video on the square version of this project, which works great, and also some imaging samples from a vacuum mirror using an exposed camera sensor. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.